This is Hemlock Water Dropwort, and I often see this posted on Facebook with the question, am I able to eat this? Now, there are lots of plants in this family that are edible, things like carrots, things like fennel, parsnips, celery, coriander. This is not one of the plants that you can eat. This is a very, very toxic plant, potentially one of the most toxic plants we have in the British Isles. Its name is Ananthe crocata in Latin. Ananthe means wine flower and for a toxic plant it's quite unusual because a lot of toxic plants have quite a nasty smell and quite a bitter taste. This has quite a pleasant smell and it has a sweet taste and this has led people into a lot of trouble. It has a, a chemical in, it's a, a, an anthotoxin, and it works against GABA in the body. So GABA is a chemical that kind of calms things down, keeps things running nice and smoothly. It works against this, this and would nullify the effects of it so that basically everything goes into overdrive and that's what causes the sort of seizures um, that cause your death. So highly toxic and it needs to be very avoided. It also contains a chemical called foranicumarin, which is a photophytoirritant, which means if you get it on your skin and you're out in sunlight, you're likely to get quite nasty blisters. So if you have any in your garden and you're thinking of cutting it down, remember to wear protective clothing. And remember that this is one of the plants that you really cannot forage from. So just have another look at these leaves that look quite celery and parsley like, the ribbed stem which is hollow and the flowers that are born in umbels and they've got almost a pom-pom effect. It's a very beautiful plant and there's quite a lot of it down here and it does look beautiful but stay well clear of it.